Uh, where are we? Just going across this little paddock. No, we've really just dis Where's he gone? Oh, you're the shepherd. Who's supposed to look after him? Where is he? <whistles> Vinny! Again. Where is he? He's gone away with a the theory somewhere, is he? <whistles> Vinny! Didn't you see where he disappeared to, to be honest with you? He must be about here somewhere. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny! Where is he? We were you weren't watching. You're a great shepherd you are, aren't you? <whistles> Vinny! Come on, where you been? What do you mean you having a cup of tea? Hey? Eh? Come on, let's wait. Oh, so he comes back when he's ready. Not before. Not good enough for me. Go on. He don't know where he's going all the time. He just runs like the clappers. Got loads of these growing here. Foxglove. I hope you can see them clearly. Absolutely loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of them. They're just growing wild. You go wild, baby. You go wild. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm uh, just going down here. There's a notice on the gate that the cattle's over here from the 15th of May, and now the 4th of June. So um, I'll keep my eye open. If I do see a moo moo, then I put both boys straight in the lead. No problem whatsoever. So we know Vinnie will come back, and uh, Max is guaranteed to come in back. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen fox scrubs. You know, we get these in people's gardens. What are you? Having said that, I've not seen Rover Lee Valley, funny enough. Uh, no idea why. They're just growing over here for the fun of it. <clears throat> oh, there's got to be an old drum down there. Yeah, I know. It looks like an old drum. Is it an old drum? No, it's not an old drum. It's a beech or birch. It's been cut. Silver birch, I believe you call that. It's beautiful through here, isn't it, eh? I'd love this in my back garden. Oh, get like 60 million pounds of lottery. This will do me. Oh, I dream of things like this. There's loads of path going through there. I can tell you, for fact, that path doesn't actually go anywhere because the whole paddock is fenced off. And uh, we're going from one sty straight down here, straight into another sty. So, it doesn't go anywhere. Over here, on the right hand side, there's like a permanently wet area underwater. It's stagnant, believe me, it stinks. And uh, there's a couple of benches over it, sit down. <laughs> Poor, have a laugh, haven't you? No, 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 out, out, Vinny. Vinny, out. Oh, what you come down here for? I was going to say, that's left for newts, voles, frogs, toads, and uh, apparently vinnies. How are you going to get out of there? Hey, yeah, you. How are you going to get out? Oh, so what I say. They put a fence all the way down to the end. Stop rabbits getting in. Obviously rabbits are going to decimate everything. Oh, he's got in, he's got back out, has he? Can, can, can he get back out? I don't know. He's made it. Yeah, yeah. Pissed. Right, back to the plot. What you got? What you got? Is that a big enough stick? Are you sure? It's a German shipper stick, Dad. They're always big. God. I'm still looking out for cows. And there'd be uh, the old British Longhorn. They go way back in the uh, history. They were going to become extinct in the, in the 50s. That really hurt Max at the back of my leg. And you can see there has been cows over here. They're the hoof prints. So they may have been, may have gone. A lot of these signs they put up 
but unfortunately, what's standing on here for? Hell yup, hey. They put these signs out and they forget to bring them, take them back down. Oh, look at that. I thought we were gonna go place planting. Place plant, what's place planting? Face planting, there you go. <laughs> What? Oh, I take it. I don't know. I guess another one. Cheers. Yeah, uh, stuff in it. Hey, eh? uh, we're going down here, just on the left-hand side. That's my wife's favourite perch. A little, a little bench. And uh, most of the cows normally get over that side, but do walk through all this bracken. All these little ferns and uh, they bunch over this side. Oh, yeah, you know. A little bit worrying when you see Vinny just standing there and he goes off on a tangent, then. Probably birds. Birds he can hear in the trees somewhere. And he just wants to go and investigate. He doesn't really know what he's looking for, to be honest with you. He's just like having a scout round. This was going to be a short walk this morning, but we've been over an hour already. And uh, as I say, two little film clips of this morning's venture. We're in the Sculpture Trail on the way to Brickenden uh, through Wormley West End, and that goes through Chesant, and where we live in Hertfordshire. Uh, One of my little favourite trees that's just cut off at the top. And those two or three branches either side of it sprouted. And they pressed though, you've got a tree. But really and truthfully, that's all of us, just that little stump. Absolutely amazing that thing. You try and buy a tree and cut it off like it's dead, isn't it? It just like grow like I don't know, I don't understand it. I never met a gardener. Right. That's our little walk through the paddock. There have been cows over here in the past. You can see from the hoof prints, there's horses over here, lots of horses dung. Not through the paddock, but where we was walking earlier and room one. And uh, that's where the cows normally live over on this side. Uh, big old things. I'm not sure where they come from or where they go. And somebody said they go up to walls, I don't know, somewhere in Hertfordshire. I'm not quite sure where though. Then they sort of travel around, sometimes go to Chesham Park, sometimes they come here, and sometimes they go back to where they were. I'm not quite sure where that place is. Right then guys, very short film. Hope you enjoyed it. I did, it was fantastic. See? Max being a gentleman, he's waiting for the gate to be open for him. We'll do that in a moment. Got a little fella. That's a good boy. In the winter, oh, this will be under mud where I'm standing now. A lot of mud. Mud over there. They've opened all this up. They've cut a lot of trees down. Uh, they've thinned out a lot of bushes and everything else. And in between those two gates, you've got about four inches of mud normally in the rainy season. A lot of, lot of mud. All right then, guys. Love and leave you. Take care of yourselves. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.